Hey everybody, so today we're going to be seeing if we can paint a vehicle, today the Rogal Dorn, in the uh, Slap Chop method. I've been using uh, Slap Chop for my Imperial Guard for some time now, and I was really, really curious if it was possible to do the same on a vehicle. You get real good results with the troops, um, so I was really curious about vehicle. Um, I couldn't find any videos really on it though. Um, I think the assumed consensus for Slap Chop is that it just doesn't belong on flat panels uh, or like you know Space Marines vehicles, anything that's flat. But I really want everything to be coherent for the army, so I figured we'd put it to the test. Um, my initial thoughts going into this project, I was uh, I was pretty concerned. <laughs> um, I, I didn't think it would look good, honestly, um, because you know who am I to argue with the better paint painters on YouTube? I myself am not a great painter, so I just figured. Well, this is going to be a waste of time, and doing it on the Robo Dorn, well, that's crazy. But, you know, we dry brushed it up. Uh, we started with the uh, the Citadel Black Primer with the dry brushing mechanic is standard gray, and then a final dry brushing of Corax White. Then I went into choosing my colors. Uh, as you can see here, I'm looking at my guardsmen. I used uh, Army Painter Pallid Bone for these guardsmen, but for my Castellan here, I used Army Painter um, Sand Golem. Well, you can see that the coats one significantly darker, and I think I'm more preferable to the um, the Pallid Bone, the guy on the left, the Lieutenant, because it's lighter. It's more like true Cadence. Um, but we'll get there later. Um, to start out, I wanted to go with Camel Cloak. Because uh, that's the color I use for my Cadence. Um, you'll see me pick up the tank here in a second. And I just tested it on his armor. Like, yep, that's the green I used. So I just show you my brush for no reason at all. And then I get into it. Um, I looked at a lot of M81 patterns on the internet. Uh, M81 is like woodland camouflage. On how they did on tanks back like Cold War like era. Stuff like that. So I just kind of picked a spot and just started drawing. Um, like I said earlier, I'm not a great painter um, 40k for me is more about the joy of the game um, I really really enjoy playing I enjoy the narrative and the lore of games on the tabletop so painting is more of a check the block in route to fielding the model and playing it because um, no one likes gray models so yeah I just started painting random shapes um, I wanted to make sure that I went over all the protruding armor or the raised armor because um, if a panel was dipped in in camouflage it would it, you know it wouldn't avoid those spots it would go over everything in a weird kind of haphazard way and I tried to just kind of smooth out all the blobs I tried to keep it real thin um, you can see I'm just using real quick brush strokes to keep everything nice and even but but thin um, and I don't know what I'm talking about <laughs> I'm not a painter this is just how I did it uh, this is how I did it, and I just want to keep it thin because you didn't want to have streaks or bubbling. And we'll see later that I I don't actually uh, keep it super consistent throughout the whole thing. As as you know, as with Slap Chop, you're painting a transparent paint over a base coat. However, the gradients I got going on from white to gray to black kind of help it out. But um, yeah, for now I'll just. Uh, I'll just sit here quietly, um, you know, I'll stop talking, and we'll speed up the tape a little bit so we can get through this. But this is uh, the step, first step, I started blocking out the green.
Alright, so with all the green blocked out across the chassis, the turret, and the barrels, um, it was time to pick a color for the tan. So I set out my two colors, I put my two guys next to them, and I kind of just looked at what I want. Um, one's darker, one's lighter. I was trying to think of what is tank camouflage used for? Well, it's obviously to hide tanks from enemy tanks. So after kind of deliberating over sand golem or pallid bone, I decided, you know what? I'm gonna give sand golem a try. It's darker tanks. You know, want to hide from enemy tanks so they don't get shot. Let's do darker colors. Um, so I went with sand golem. I was like, here we go. Let's let's do sand golem. So I got on my brush. I grabbed the turret because I was like, if I don't like this color, I'm gonna I'm gonna switch to pallid bone. But I was like, all right, let's get this comms box squared away. And I start painting it in, and immediately you can see sand golem looks really orange. And I was like, all right, trust the process, trust the process. And I got to about right here, and I just could not. I was like, nope, this is this is not good. I got grumpy. I threw the tank. Freaking apologized to the guardsman, and uh, swapped the pallet bone. <laughs> Um, trusting the process definitely is something you have to be useful or useful used to doing with slap chop um, because there's not really a redo you can get your paint wet and pull away speed paints I mean uh, you get your brush wet and pull away speed paints but a lot of the times you're uh, you're redoing a lot of work um, but as you can see here uh, despite that orange little comps box right there uh, maybe you know maybe the comps get real hot and ruin the paint but um, <laughs> For pallet bones, an immediate improvement, um, and a lot of you will realize I'm trying to do the Lehman Russ like box art scheme, and that's uh, that's that's what I'm doing. I was just coloring the lines here, so um, using the pallet bone second actually worked out really nice because the green was dark enough that if you kind of went over the lines, if you if you aren't good at coloring the lines like I am, um, you don't really notice because the uh, the green covers it up so well. Um, so there's the turret done. You know she's all squared away. And um, I just grab my, my little dude just to do his little hatch. And of course, I take him off the dang camera. <laughs> and that's what I did. So I'll speed it up once again um, and get us through this, uh, this video here. All right, so here's the Rogodorn uh, with the tan and the green all picked out. Um, she's she's all squared away. All that's left is to uh, pick out whatever colors you want for the rest of the stuff, like the stowage, the guns. I personally use true metallics on the guns because I don't have Army Painter 2.0 paints yet. Um, but you know, personal preference. That's just what I did. 
um, as you can see she's she's ready to go so after a quick forgotten recording later and a little bit of a time skip we will see here the finished product um, so there you go like I said I used Army Painter for everything because that's just my personal preference um, you could use Citadel or Vallejo inks whatever you want but I like Army Painter because that's what I have I use true metallics for the the guns and the barrel um, details for that for me that was Citadel Lead Belcher and uh, Citadel Warblock Bronze as well as uh, one or two other Citadel paints all, all true metallics but there she is and uh, honestly I think I think she looks pretty good I'm really happy with how it came out um, would acrylics look better probably <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm not a judge I'm uh, I just wanted to see if you could slap chop a vehicle and make it match the rest of your army because for me slap chopping looks kind of chalky very watercolory and I like that on the troops and I think I think the Rogue Dorn uh, complements them just fine um, there's a little commander dirty Mike that is dirty Mike himself up top as you see I did a little freehand on the front um, just to give it up I'm gonna throw some decals on it and I reckon if you give it some weathering um, you could make this you know bring up the paint score even more but that's that ladies and gentlemen you can uh you can slap chop a vehicle. Um, this is Dirty Mike, and uh, he was a joy to do. I hope those of you who are looking for an answer on whether or not you can slap chop a vehicle have somewhat of a way forward with a yes or no. This is just my response. Everybody have a good day.